maybe some sort of grave site. Take this one here, also it's like a footprint. We'll name this rock the toilet. Remember the uh, alien rock uh, video I did? Here's one with, uh, looks like some writing on it. Once we do, look at this. There, I was there. You gotta be careful because I'm telling you folks, one wrong step and it's all over. Probably easier ways to go, but I really think I can do this. I'm brushing off some of these loose rocks. I'm scaling the cliff. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is dangerous. And you can see how twisted my feet are. Or this canyon here, there are candidates for the possible MK that Kenny Beach came to there. Jeez, look at that, it's a long way down. Oh my gosh, what's this? Holy cow, bones. There's a skull. It almost looks like somebody buried it here. Sunday, January 14th, about 8.30 in the morning. Long road out to the Desert National Wildlife Refuge. That is the Sheep Range Mountains out there about, uh, 10 years ago, a man named Kenny Beach walking in those mountains never returned. It was in November when it happened. This is January, so um, it is going to be significantly colder out there than it is in November. And uh, I usually stop doing an intro at the sign up here, but as you can see, it is uh, 36 degrees out there, so it's pretty cold. And uh, in the interest of time, since it is 8:30, I'm going to keep on going to our destination. No intro. We'll do a quick intro out there. I opted not to air down. Tire pressure is at about 37 psi all around. Definitely, we uh, ideally we want to go lower than that, but you can see it's somewhat of a smooth dirt road uh, with some gr loose gravel on it. So we're taking it slow and easy. Temperature 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, you know when it's colder, the tire pressure is a little bit lower. So we're just going to take it easy. Where we're going is not that far. It's up here to Joe May Road, and we're going to head to the end of Joe May Road. So we'll just take it easy going out there. And I might be like I said, not going to waste time airing down because uh, I just want to get out there and start the hike. Now, for those of you wondering why I air down, you can see that the ride's a little bumpier than normal because uh, the tower pressure is a little bit higher. Still at about 36, 37 PSI, but uh, without airing down that softer ride, it's a lot more bumpy and it's harder on the tires and suspension. But like I said, we're taking it easy. And here up Joe May Road, this road was closed after the September storms and it's pretty clear the desert reclaimed the road. It was all washed out, so it's been recently graded and uh, it's still rough going, but uh, much better condition than it was. We're about halfway there. We're going to keep on going to the end of the uh, road here to the trailhead and then we'll uh, do a quick intro and begin the hike. Oh. Morning. Great day for a hike. Saturday, January 14, 2024. And it's about uh, 41 degrees out here. It's not that cold. As you can see, there's no snow out there. I don't know what to expect out here. This is a uh, few thousand feet higher elevation than Las Vegas. So I didn't know if there was snow out here. I don't know how cold it would be. Blowing wind, I've got my full cold weather gear with me. Didn't even need, I've got regular gloves, not my gauntlets on. Um, I do have the military polypro top, which is really warm. Right now I need it. I may have to take it off as we start the hike. Um, I brought um, extreme cold weather jacket and pants. Don't even need them. I am wearing the military issue Matterhorn boots. I've done big hikes in these before in the summer. They're a little bit warmer in the winter. I've also got the uh, really thick, darn tough socks on underneath these. Um, my gear, I'm not a spokesman for anybody. I've got no sponsorships, just letting you know what I wear. Our plan today is to head out there up uh, Joe May Canyon towards the old Kenny Beach mine. What I'd like to do is go past the mine, Wild Horse Pass, down Wild Horse Pass, through Picture Canyon, all the way around the mountains and come right back here. Exactly the same hike that Kenny Beach did. Now, uh, we're gonna be retracing his steps. I don't expect to find the M Cave. I've been out there enough times, but some areas we have not been. Um, for example, just past Picture Canyon on this side of the mountains, I've not been out there. I don't know what to expect. Maybe there's some side canyons or something. Maybe that's where the real M Cave is, who knows. There's also a few other things I want to look for out there in Joe May Canyon. Uh, there's an old um, kind of a prospect pit that we didn't find the last time. And there's like a pile of rocks. It looks like somebody purposely put it there. Maybe there's something buried inside the pile of rocks. Not a cairn, a pile of rocks. So we'll look for that too. Uh, but like all these hikes, you never know what you're going to find until you get out there. So it's going to be a long day. Um, I'm expecting about 10 miles. So uh, without further ado, 9 a.m., let's do it. Come on.
All right. Um, got all my gear, everything is secured. Um, last minute gear check. Unfortunately, my Garmin water bladder was leaking just a little bit. Extremely disappointed in that. So I love this backpack so much and it's perfect and it has all the gear that I use in the right places. I may just buy another water bladder or have some spares on hand because I really don't want to just go to a different backpack. Because once you have your gear arranged the way you like it, um, you know, you really don't want to go to something else. Like I said, I don't need heavy cold weather gear. If I had to spend the night out here, absolutely I would. So if something happens, I have to spend the night, I don't want to think about it. I do have a, uh, a thermal sleeping bag in my backpack if it came to that. And I know where there's some caves such as this that we could potentially take shelter in if it was necessary, but I don't think that'll be necessary. We're, it's remote out here, but it's not that remote. There's a bird flying up there. Birds are one of the few animals you see out here. Most of the times you don't see animals. I don't expect to see reptiles as cold, so snakes, unlikely to be an issue out here. It's not tarantula season, that's over. That's usually September through October. But uh, coyote, bighorn sheep, possible, but they're usually nocturnal. Uh, anything else can happen out here, phantom footsteps or who knows what. All right, so it's your first time watching one of my videos. You're probably asking what's the phantom footsteps. So I'll just mention real quick, phantom footsteps, you're walking along or maybe stop and you hear what sounds like footsteps. You almost feel like someone or something running up, running up behind you. It's really weird. It could be an echo. It could be sound kind of echoing off my uh, boonie cap. It could be gunshots from the Clark County shooting complex echoing through the mountains. It could be military bombing echoing through the mountains. Both unlikely since those are so far away. This is near Nellis Air Force Base. Sheep Range Mountains where Kenny Beach disappeared. But uh, the phantom footsteps, as I call them, I chalk them up to imagination, except several other people reported them as well. Even, uh, even Jay Chuck out here had the exact same experience I did with phantom footsteps in this valley, as did Sean Connor in this valley. So we'll be keeping our eyes and ears open for that. Right, I'm gonna show you this. I've seen this several times out here before. And uh, maybe some sort of grave site. It's uh, some rebar, piece of wood looking like a cross and a jawbone on it. There may be a grave to an animal here, I don't know. But it's strange and I've seen it here before. Um, I don't know what this is. So just like I said, it's one of the strange things out here in Joe May Canyon. And you be the judge as to what it is. But uh, yeah, we'll keep on going. This bush behind it wasn't that big, so last time I was out here, so it's growing a little bit. And just goes to show you, the desert's always changing. What you see one time, it may not see again. Let's keep on going. On the clock, 0.59 miles, 273 foot elevation gain, heart rate 133 beats per minute. 16 minutes since I started the clock, but we hiked about a quarter miles when I did. Truck so far out there, it's hard to see if you can't see it at all. I'm getting warm. I may have to take off this polypro top. This is the coldest time of the year in Las Vegas and it's actually kind of warm. And I'm a little glad there's no snow here because if there's any evidence at Kenny Beach, we'll find it. Keep in mind, we're gonna have to get lucky. Um, run into a backpack or something that's clearly been out here for 10 years. Could be an indicator that Kenny Beach was there. Really hard to say. <sighs> Getting closer up there towards Jome Guzzler area. And uh, like I said, I see the first agave burn pit up there. We'll be listening for phantom footsteps. It really did creep me out the first time I heard it. It is a Sunday, and the military doesn't usually have operations on Sunday. So if we do hear something like that, it would be unlikely to be some kind of military bombing exercise. Could be gunshots from the Clark County Pistol Complex or Clark County Shooting Complex, but that's way down there several miles and around those mountains. So it's not a direct shot, so I find it hard to believe that there'd be an echo from there. So like I said, I'm listening for phantom footsteps. 
second set of footsteps. If you hear anything, let me know. I guess it'll be noticeable, almost like something running up behind you. Almost two miles, 850 foot elevation gain. See a good deal of snow on the side of the mountain over there, so the sun more than likely doesn't hit that part of the mountain, and that's why the snow stayed. This area here, the sun does hit it. That's why it's no snow. You will see a lot of interesting rocks. Take this one here, almost looks like a footprint. This is probably made by flowing water, but it's really hard to say what made it. Uh, some really intricate designs in the rock right there. Um, it'd be kind of cool to take with me, but there's really no reason to put a rock in my pants. They just give me extra weight as I hike out of here. I'm not getting tired. I'm getting fatigued. And that's likely due to me being slightly out of shape from taking a couple of weeks off of hikes and uh, eating too much over the holidays. I didn't want to come out here. It was 50-50. Part of me said, yeah, I just stay home and chill. Make a video later on in the year or something. But the other part of me said, you are gonna get out of shape fast. Get your ass out in, those de in the mountains, get in the desert, do a hike, not just for your subscribers, but for yourself. My physical condition is a big part of these hikes because this is an endurance challenge. Somebody commented the other day, hit me up on Instagram, and I do try to respond to all messages. I try to. Um, they said, you know, hey, I, I hike myself and I know what goes into these hikes and a lot of people don't appreciate it. And I said, brother, you know, you don't even know. I over prepare for these hikes. I've got food, water, satellite communicator, cold weather gear, uh, a thermal sleeping bag if necessary, uh, top notch boots, socks, clothes, and uh, I make sure I'm fully rested and have a good meal before I come out. So I over prepare in these videos. Some people just sit at home, film a video, do some editing. This is a physical endurance challenge. A lot goes into this and yes, I can die or even disappear like Kenny Beach out here. So it may look easy. You know, you just watch my video, scroll through it, but I can assure you, this is some tough stuff. On the clock, 2.42 miles, just over almost 1,100 foot elevation gain, 80 minutes, heart rate 113. Now, but a mile that way is Kitty Beach Mine. We can go there. It's a sure thing. Um, and then continue over Wild Pass in the Picture Canyon, the same way Kitty Beach went. But right here is a relatively flat area leading up behind this big, huge mountain here. I have been on this mountain. It's an epic view of Joe May Canyon, and. Uh, I think I'm gonna go this way, just because we've never been out there before. I've been up here many times, I know what's up there. You can go up there a hundred times, and hundred and first time, find something you didn't see before. But, I've gone this way so many times, I wanna see what's over here. Are there caves over there? Is there any evidence of Kenny Beach over there? Did Kenny Beach leave his phone in the mine, double back, and head into these hills here? That is one of the things I suspect. Uh, his hike started over there at Joe May Canyon, came through Joe May Valley, um, I'm sorry, his hike started over there at the trailhead uh, at the end of Joe May Road, came through Joe May Canyon, up to the mine over there, uh, and then he said he was, well he did actually in his video, go over the uh, Wild Horse Pass, all the way through Picture Canyon, back around this mountain range, back to his uh, vehicle. But is he somewhere in this small mountain range? Hard to say. Um, I'm gonna go straight this way and at least see what's over this ridge here, uh, if it's worth going. If, if it's not, I can always double back, or I can keep on going up there and uh, go behind this mountain. Like I said, I've been up there before, some epic views. And beyond this mountain is uh, the alien face, where it's, on Google Earth, it looks like an alien face, because it's like an autogen, but when you see it in person, um, it's really not. But that's just kind of the nickname that I give it. You know, Kenny Veach said, he, when, he, when he left, he said he was going hiking. Uh, for a couple of days, and that's why his girlfriend Sharon Pilgrim didn't uh, didn't call anyone for a few days. He thought she'd assume he'd be out there. So all we know is that his phone was in the mountains. Did he leave his phone in the mountains and double back? It's unlikely, unless he was purposely trying to disappear. Um, 
did he keep, my theory is he kept on going. How far, I don't know, that's, that's gonna be a guess, but my theory is he either left his phone in the mountains and intended to disappear up there uh, to throw people off, um, but if he did that, then think about it. Kenny Beach said, um, if he ever decided to, dis to do something to himself or disappear out here, no one would ever find him. Why would he give anybody a lead um, as to where he may be putting his phone there? Um, hard to say. Um, he could have put the phone there and left and not even be in these mountains, or he could have forgot his phone and kept on going. It's really hard to say. Um, what goes on in the mine of Kenny Beach or where he's been out here before, he could be anywhere. So, like I said, if we find him or uh, any evidence to him, it's going to be luck. And it will more than likely be in a place that's completely unexpected, which is why I did not want to go straight to the mine like we've been many times before. We're going to go up on top of this uh, ridge line up here and see what's on the other side. Anything interesting? There has been some caves over there. This, like I said, this mountain range, this Kenny Beach mountain range, it's, it's a 10 mile hike all the way around it. I have not ex fully explored this. And this mountain range is definitely the mountain range where the M cave is supposed to be. That's a rodent holes. At this point in my videos, um, I'm gonna call it, I personally do not believe in the M cave as Kenny Beach described it. I don't think it exists, it could. But based on what I've seen, I've never seen anything that Kenny described. Now, uh, Jeff Claw has experienced a strange vibration like Kenny Beach reporters. There's two people out there uh, that experienced this vibration. Did Kenny Beach come across a cave that he thought was deep and dark and experienced this vibration which kind of disoriented him and causing him to kind of really forget where it was? Keep in mind, Kenny Beach had said himself he'd only been through Picture Canyon twice on his uh, final video. His final video is the third time through Picture Canyon. So when he saw the M cave, that was his second time through there. I had been through Picture Canyon on my second or third time, had been, have mista been mistaken where I thought things were. So entirely possible Kenny Beach was mistaken. And that cave that he said he saw could be anywhere out here. A man cave found video on the side of a hill. I did find a cave that appeared to be deep and dark it was a perfectly shaped letter M. Was it Kenny's M cave? Nobody knows. But as much strange things I've seen out here, you never know what you're gonna find. And I've found some unexpected things, so that's why we're going off the beaten path at the top of this ridge line to get a better look. I'm gonna roll film as I reach the uh, top of this uh, ridge line here. Some breathtaking views of the area. Mount Charleston out there. Oh man. Beautiful scenery. This would be a good place to camp in one of these little valleys out here. Oh man. We can go straight that way, get on top of the ridge line, um, top of that peak over there. That'd be kind of cool. That might be the Martian Rock area. Let me check the GPS of it is. It might just do a Martian Rock instead. And Martian Rock is, of course, what uh, Jay Silverheels has branded. A strange geographical feature that he said looked like a Martian Rock. We might be able to do that, but I think the best thing to do is to uh, get on top of this mountain, get oriented, and see, what, see what's out here. And we may continue back this way the top of that mountain over there, which I think is near Martian Rock. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, decided. The original plan was to hike up Joe May Canyon here, Joe May Valley, to the old Kenny Beach mine shaft, go over, um, go over Wild Horse Pass, through Picture Canyon, come all the way around, retrace Kenny Beach's steps. The problem with that is we've done it many times before. I know it's out there. Yeah, it's possible we'll encounter Kenny Beach somewhere, but it had to be just pure sure luck. I'm gonna go someplace different. I was gonna hike to the top of this hill, um, but that would uh, exert ourselves getting up there. I've been up there before. It is some epic views of all the Joe May uh, Valley right here, but we've been up there before. What I'm gonna do, I think, is maybe hike straight this way um, to this point here. If I can get to that second mountain over there and then over that saddle, to that third mountain, that third mountain should be able to pull a signal. I might be able to do a live stream. We should see Las Vegas up there too. Um, 
and we'll continue down here go towards picture canyon and i think we can make it to the beast go down the beast and then around all the way around the mountain range back to the truck still going to be a monster hike it'll save us some time and it will allow us to go someplace i've never seen before so that's uh that's the plan something new unexpected going through these mountains Okay, from a distance, this will look like a cave, but I'll show you what it looks like. It doesn't even go in, see? That's like just a cavity, and that's what you see. And of course, it's, here's my boot, it's not really big enough for a person to go inside, but it's just a cavity. See piles of snow around here? There, I was there. Just keep on moving. Beautiful views up here. Wait till we get to the top of that mountain over there. You'll see an epic view of possibly Las Vegas. All right. Blueprint in the snow. The snow is um, hardened, which means it's been there freezing for a while. All right, here's where we gotta go. Not that big a deal. There's some ups and downs, but it doesn't look like anything too extreme, but we are gonna be doing some climbing today. And that's something we haven't done for a while. What you've gotta do once you get on these high vantage points, kind of map, do kind of a, a mental map of where you're gonna go. So looking over there, we're gonna to get to the top. I don't think we can get to the top where that uh, rock looks like it's gonna fall off. Uh, but there's like a little saddle right up there, a low point, and we're gonna to get to there. And if we can get to the other side and go all the way to this low point here we will otherwise we're gonna have to kind of skirt those rocks um, which may be a little challenging and then get to that saddle there top of this mountain which I think um, um, Martian rock is up there and again that's a rock that looks like it was from Mars that uh, I guess Jay Silverheels had called name Martian rock I haven't seen it myself but it's in that general vicinity I believe Let's keep on coming down here Look at this odd two pairs of rocks right there. The gatekeepers. It looks like uh, it looks like someone stacked rocks on them. See how they had the lines in them? Almost looks like a gate or something there. Maybe it is a gate. Who knows? Martian Gateway. Martian Rock Gateway. Strange. Uh, let's kind of make a mental note that these two marker rocks are the gateway to where we're going to be going today. Over here... Another kind of a, almost looks like a toilet sitting there. We'll name this rock the toilet. Here's uh, here's the tank, here's the bowl. Yeah, they would name this the toilet rock. It looks in the shape of a toilet. I would love to explore that canyon. There's so much area to explore out here. I wanted to see it all. I almost feel like I've gotten my second wind. I'm climbing. I'm exerting myself out more, but I feel a little bit better than I did climbing that wash down there in the valley. Man, look at this. That, uh, that mountain over there might be alien face, I don't know. Once I get to the top of this mountain here, I'll check GPS and orient myself and see what it takes to get to the mouth of Picture Canyon from up there. If it's not too challenging and all downhill, yeah, I could probably do it, but inside this mountain range, it's really tough because I don't know what I can run, in, run into. Now, I don't want to come down one mountain into this valley. I want to go back up another one. That's, uh, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Okay. Should be fairly easy getting up there. There's some small caves to check out, too. And uh, should be a great vantage point there. But once we come down this valley and go up to the top of that mountain, it should be an epic view that I'm looking forward to. Might be able to do a live stream up there. We'll see. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, you remember, last year around this time is when I did the first video of 2023. That was uh, 
hidden cabin, hidden forest cabin. Um, if you look out there, that's the way towards Sheep Peak. And even on these highest peaks, there's not a whole lot of snow. Even Mount Charleston off in the distance, it's enough snow for the ski resort to open because some of that's machine made, but for the most part, there's not that much snow this year. It's been a fairly warm winter. So that uh, Arctic expedition that we took, the Hidden Forest Cabin, more than likely would be kind of like this. Not a whole lot of snow. That's the thing about in the Las Vegas area, the snow really doesn't usually stick around too long. But uh, I probably could have got away a desert boots for this one. Oh, there's a cave up here. A oh, small cave. Cavity. That's the thing, a lot of these, see these caves in the distance? They're pocket caves and cavities, which is what makes the M cave so hard to find. You could see a cave from half a mile away up on a mountain. It looks promising, but it's really not. It's just a, it's just a cavity. And that's what these are. Might be good enough to crawl in there and have shelter for the night, but that's about it. All right, first saddle up here. What do we have on the other side? Oh, oh my gosh. Woo! There we go. Okay. I do see Las Vegas barely. It's windy up here. I don't know if we're supposed to hike over there or not. Let's come up here so we can see. Okay. Okay. That's oh, a long way down. Not that long, but long enough to get hurt. Yeah, we are gonna go up over there. Let's see if we could see. All right, let's keep going. And I probably take a couple of pictures in the windshield up there. It's brutal. I should have brought some chapstick. My lips don't feel chapped, but uh, standing out here and jabbering on, I could see it starting to happen. So maybe I need to put uh, some chapstick in my pack. Not really need in the summertime, but this cold, frigid winter wind is certainly helpful. Nice, beautiful view of Joe May Valley down there. Uh, let's come with this saddle up there and get a better view of Joe May Valley and see what we can see off in the distance. Heck, if we're lucky, we'll see that uh, old mine shaft and we can orient ourselves with a photograph and map out directly where it is so that not really my job like it's a prospect pit and uh get it the next time because we are we're not going back the same way we came here's a little mini rock remember the uh alien rock uh video i did here's one with uh looks like some writing on it uh it's a small rock you can see about the size of my hand but uh this is probably flowing water or something over the years really hard to say um, but it just looks like alien riding. All right, what we got to do is just straight this way, wrap the top of that saddle up there, and then we'll orient ourselves and get a better view. All right, over, uh, okay. Just lost some balance a little bit there, I'm all right. Rolling film for this short climb here, uh, just because it is the steep side of a hill and uh, you never know what's gonna happen. Taking my time, being careful, and uh, I'm gonna climb to the top of this saddle and see what kind of a view we can get up there. I'm gonna get one more time. It says in the videos for those who say, oh, get a helmet cam or a helmet cam or a chest cam and keep your hands free. I can tell you right now, the floaty stick that I use to hold the GoPro in one of my hands provides the best camera angles. It provides the most realistic camera angles. I've tried the other ones, they just don't work. I've seen people with helmet cams, and this is what you see all the time, constantly looking around. Um, or just looking down like this. A chest cam, you're just like this, just moving side by side. But this, 
I can show you this. I can move around and show you everything. I can aim at the top of this hill and show you where we're going, even though I myself am looking down where my feet are stepping to make sure that I'm getting a good grip with these boots climbing up this hill. All right, almost the top. What will we see? How good of a view is it? Oh, I'm gonna take a quick break. My legs are getting sore. Drum roll. Okay. Oh man. It happens all the time. Get the top of one saddle. I find out you're not at the top yet. Oh my god. All right. Leisurely stroll. This other saddle. I can see what's over here. Not really any pay trails or paths out here. It's kind of going, going cross country. And this one will give us the view that we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Oh man. And that's Las Vegas way over yonder. And this is the Jome Valley. Nice. I have to go straight up here to where we're going. All right. All right. This is it. Joe May Valley in all his glory. That old mine shaft, prospect pit might be right out there somewhere. Let me check GPS and I'll point right where it is. But you could barely see Las Vegas way out there. And if you could see it, that's Lone Mountain. And, uh, yeah, try to make an epic sunrise on a clear day. All right, let me get a few pictures, get oriented, and we'll be right back. After checking the map multiple times where I think the, uh, the uh, prospect pit, that second mine here in Jomay Valley is, I think it's about half a mile that way. And I've been using the binoculars, these Steiner T1028s, 10 by 28 binoculars. They're really good. And, um... I try to scan first the naked eye and then use the binoculars to kind of get a closer look and I'm just not seeing anything. You know, maybe a drone flying over, but it's, it's still really hard to say. I mean, it, everything looks the same. It's, it's really hard to see. I mean, it's nothing more than a hole in the ground that looks like every, every other part of the dirt out here. So, um, and, and again, it's not much to see. It's just a point of interest that I wanted to see because it's something man made out here in Jomay Valley. Um, I'm going to put the binoculars away, pack up the gear, and head this way towards Picture Canyon and see if we can get a halfway decent route to Picture Canyon without being too strenuous. It's 11.14 uh, on the clock, three miles. Uh, lunch in about an hour or so. Um, I think beef, freeze-dried beef, beef, freeze beef stew is on tap. Sorry, LEB, no crunchy lasagna today. Um, I'm not going through that fiasco again. Beef stew... Um, works pretty good with just a little bit of water even if it's cold so that's what we'll eat and uh yeah let's pack up and go all right what is over here oh my gosh look at this wow no easy day at this point i don't even know if we can make the picture canyon because we got to get past that mountain over there And I can follow this valley down the other side of those mountains. Only problem is a lot of times you're faced with cliffs. And the only way out is another monstrous climb. So I think we may skirt this, skirt this area down here, over there to this valley, go to the top of that point over there, make the call which way to go. This way towards Picture Canyon, or this way back towards uh, the trailhead. All right, one foot in front of the other. So they don't want to fall on these steep, uh, steep rocks. So we're gonna have to skirt down there and the only way to do it is to come back this way. Backtrack a little bit. 
And unfortunately, that's just the way it is sometimes. All right, backtracking over these rocks. Trying to lose our balance. I do have a lot of experience doing this. I'm an experienced hiker, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna lose my balance. Something happened out here, so that's why I'm trying to just be careful. Um, a lot of times you really can't uh, figure out which way to go until you get to the top of something. So I think I'm gonna have to come around here and hopefully make it the side of that, that hillside, walk on that hillside back to the next saddle. And uh, if it's something looks too extreme, I don't think today is the days for it. So we'll see, I'll make that call once we get there. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right. 11 a.m., 11.22 a.m. And the sun position look, makes it look like at 4 p.m. It just gets darker earlier this time of year. But I think the, uh, the days are slowly starting to get longer, which is good. I mean, spring is coming and then summer and got lots of hikes planned this year, so we'll see. I was actually considering less hikes and maybe slowing down on the channel and just doing other things in life. And I realized, you know, these hikes, they keep me in shape. So I'm gonna keep doing them. And I know you guys love these hikes. Let's peek through here and see what we see. Nope. Too far, too far of a drop. Come back. Oh, for crying out loud. I think we're gonna have to go to that freaking saddle all the way over there and backtrack. Okay. No, well, that's what we gotta do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there a shortcut over here? Oh man, that's real tough. But you know what? Put on my gloves, I think we can do it. Just because these rocks are so jagged, save us considerable time. Up. I'm gonna try to climb it. It's dangerous, I know, but my feet or my shoes, my boots are sticking to these jagged rocks. Let me switch hands to the GoPro. I mean, try to maintain at least three points of contact on these rocks. Oh my god, this is one of the most dangerous things I've done. Jeez. Okay. Made it down one level. Switch GoPro hands again. Find something to grab. Come over here. Okay, that's not moving good. Well, that is moving. All right. Come down here. Lower ourselves down. Okay. Carefully. And that's that. We did it. Yeah. Let's keep going. All right, we need to go straight and skirt this hillside to that saddle, climb to the top of this mountain, and from there we'll get oriented and find out which direction we're gonna go next. I don't even know which direction we're gonna go next. We may have to backtrack towards the, uh, towards the truck. At this point, that's fine, but hiking for two hours already, so that would be at least two hours to get about the trailhead. And I suspect it'd be much harder to get back than it was to get out there. Watching the snow. The snow is, uh, is hard, it's turned into ice for the most part, but you can still step in a patch of it and slip, so that's why we're trying to be careful. Um, the boots that I have are not Gore-Tex, the uh, regular desert boots. These are, and they're the warmest boots that I have, which is why I'm wearing them out here. 
I probably could have got away with regular boots, but uh, these are tried and true, and they uh, they work great for out here. Even though they're torn up from countless hikes over rocks like these. Okay, straight this way. So far, I haven't seen a lot of interesting things or artifacts or anything along the way. No footprints in the snow. Oh, maybe might be some footprints are hard to say. Nothing recent. Okay. Certainly no people footprints out here. tricky because uh, there's a lot of loose rock here and snow and I don't want to slip. I'm making progress getting there. All right, holding in this bush and uh, I think we're going to go down and over this way. I'm holding this bush so I don't fall, this Christmas tree. What you gotta do in these hikes is uh, get to a certain point and pause and then kind of find the best way to go. That's what we're doing over here. Okay. All right. Now this hike uh, this year I'm not adding a lot of fluff like I do. Different camera angles or, you know, videos of me driving in the truck. This, uh, this is pure hiking, pure outdoors. In the snow, and uh, I'm trying to get where we're going. Just looking around here, see a small hole in the rock up there. Maybe uh, one foot tall, six inches wide. You can see it right there in the center of the screen, about uh, somewhere right around there, I guess. Maybe enough for a bird to go inside, not a person though. But you gotta check these, uh, these rocks at the top of the hills, that's where you find the caves. It's cold, um, obviously there's a lot of snow on the ground. Well, not a lot, but this spot there is. And uh, we're almost at the top, so we're gonna keep going um, and make the top of this hill up here. Just walking in the snow. Almost to the top. Get oriented once we are up at the top. That's where we gotta go to that saddle over there and up to the top of this hill. I'm starting to get hungry. I may have to have a lunch a little earlier than I thought. Straight on this way, up there to the top of the hill where there's some caves up there, it looks like. We'll check those out as well. Let's keep going. The closer I get to it, the steeper it looks, but there are some caves at the top I could see. I'm not going to bother putting on the binos because uh, my goal is to get to the top of that hill. I'm going to beat that hill, and uh, I think I can do it. And I'll check out those caves up there that may probably don't go in, but we'll check them out anyway. And uh, see if we can pull a signal up the top of the hill too. Let's keep going. I want you this uh, saddle here that will begin to climb up this hill. Now, what are the chances Kenny Beach came up this way? You know, as good as any other. Kenny Beach could be anywhere in these mountains, anywhere. And uh, I've always said, 
if we find any evidence of him, it's going to be luck because there is no clues, none whatsoever. And then he left his phone at the mine, which, I mean, who knows? Maybe he went to the mine, doubled back, want to go through these mountains like I am. It's hard to say. Really hard to say. Did he keep going? Or is he in this mountain range here where we're at somewhere? I don't know. But you can see how vast this place is. Let's, uh, we're almost a saddle over here. And we'll see what kind of a view we can get. Of course, winds are picking up. See a nice view of Las Vegas out there. All right. I'm gonna go to the, try to go to the top of this mountain. And once we get to the top, that is the highest point out here, we'll be able to find out which way we can go from there. Worst case scenario, we come back, it's a downhill all the way into Joe May Canyon, back to the truck. So I think it's doable to try to get to the top of that mountain. And if we can get one of those caves, we might be able to have lunch inside a cave. Providing there's no mountain lions in there, of course. I brought lunch for one, not lunch for two. Let's do this. Fairly easy going here, and, and it, could, it should be easy going to the top of these mountains. That rocks about three quarter way up might pose a little bit of a challenge, but I think we can more or less get to the very top of this hill, and that is our goal. That I think is going to be end game for this hike. Let's find out what's at the top of this hill. Is there caves up there? And of course, once we do, look at this. A little cavity there. In the distance, it looks like a cave or something, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. Be a, a cool little spot to sit in there and chill if the wind wasn't blowing directly on it. All right, let's uh, let's continue on. All right, that's where we just came from. Half to three quarters away up the mountain. See Vegas out in the distance and uh, those shapes down there, the rectangular shapes says Joe May Guzzler. I don't usually give away specific locations to where I've been, but I think it's pretty obvious where I am here. So um, that's uh, that's it. On the clock, 3.53 miles, 2 hours, 36 minutes, 1,400 foot elevation gain. Expect that to increase as we go up. Heart rate 103 beats per minute. All right, that I think is the top and I think it's doable to get to it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll get to the top, check out those caves up there, orient ourselves, and since that is, appears to be the high point, we'll uh, do a recon and see what the best uh, course of action is for which way to go next. Let's go. You gotta pace yourself and stop every now and then. Oh man, it's uh, it's steep. Once your legs kind of start feeling like jelly, you know it's time to slow down. Okay. Oh man. Majestic views. Rock climbing. Okay, three quarters of the way up. Just taking a quick rest. Um, 1,500 foot elevation gain. I'm trying to pace myself is all. We're almost there. So it appeared to be some caves right there around, around the base we're gonna check out, but also I'm gonna get to the very top. Might be able to do a quick live stream. Let me get up there, maybe. See how good of a signal it is. 
knows how to climb these mountains. Just take it slow, take your time. Do you have a backpack with gear on? So it's a little, a little more challenging. Okay. Okay. Let me come around here check the K's first. And we'll come around this way. Go to the very top. Probably be pretty chilly up here if uh, I was in t-shirts and shorts and just standing still, but we're in full gear exerting ourselves. I'm fine. I do have a uh, the Poly Pro top on. I didn't take off, I kept it on. I wonder if I made a cave up there. Holy shit. Okay. I'm almost starting to feel like I'm getting dizzy, so I'm trying to just pace myself. Okay. Those you wonder who I am. Climbing with two with four two hands and two feet. And I'm still holding the GoPro. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a cave after all. Look at that. Maybe over here. Check it out. There's a cave. Does it go in? like it. All right, so it looked like a cave from a distance, didn't it? But it's not. Crap. Well, this is well. Maybe another few million years when to wear it down would be a cave, who knows. When you climb up hills like this, if you start getting dizzy or lightheaded, you need to stop and rest. And that's part of what I'm doing to pause every now and then. Let my body catch up. Heart rate 128 beats per minute. I'm doing okay. 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 Be, try to be careful not to step on loose rocks. And, uh, I think I can do this. Oh my gosh. I think I can do this. <sighs> okay. Probably easier ways to go, but I really think I can do this. It's gonna be a challenge. You see what I see. I'm brushing off some of these loose rocks. I'm gonna go for it just like climbing a ladder. I'm gonna be careful. If I have to drop the GoPro, it's tethered. All right, so four points of contact. Lifting myself up. Ugh. Okay. Step by step. I'm brushing off some uh, Ooh, that's loose rock. Careful stepping there, so I'm gonna make sure I'm holding on to something solid like this as I pull myself up. Okay. <clears throat> Here. And I think I can go right over there. I think. Okay. That is not secure. That is not secure. This, move this out of the way, step here, hold on there, okay, oh my gosh, oh my god, I, this is straight up rock climbing, I'm scaling the cliff, look at that, oh my gosh, this is dangerous, okay, 
Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not grabbing a rock that's going to give way. Okay. Made it to this level. You see, that wasn't easy. Look at the view, huh? Okay. Over here. Step here. Here. And here. And we made it to the top. Yes. My gosh, look at this view. Look at this view. We are at the top of the rock. We have made it. Yes. All right. Let me slowly do a 360 degree. Joe May Guzzler down there. Las Vegas off in the distance. Coming through here. Uh, Picture Canyon is beyond that large mountain over there. I don't think we can make Picture Canyon. I ain't climbing that mountain, not today. And uh, that's where we just came from. Our options are plenty. We can go down through that canyon here, or this canyon here. There are candidates for the possible M cave if Kenny Beach came through there. But I think we're gonna go down this way, skirting this mountain here, to that mountain range. Come back to uh, by the Joe May Guzzler and come down over through there back to the truck. And over there, once we get to this rock straight ahead, it looks kind of like a sleeping elephant. That over there somewhere is Martian Rock, and that's where we're gonna go. And to come back down here and around over there to do it. But that's that's the plan. I think that's doable, and I think that's reasonable uh, given this time of year where it gets dark early and it's cold out here. I think that's that's entirely reasonable. All right, let me take a quick break. It's cold and windy up here. I'm naming this Joe May Peak. Since that's the Joe May Guzzler down there, I'm naming this Joe May Peak. Elevation is 6,400 feet. Uh, Marsha Rock, I believe, is that way on the other side of that uh, kind of ridge line straight over there somewhere, right about there. So that's where we're gonna go. Um, I'm sure Silver Hills will correct me if I'm wrong, but that's where I believe Marsha Rock is. So we're going to, uh, come down here which way down there we're going to come down one of these ways uh go this way down here kind of skirt around around over there and then go to, uh, on this mountain ridge and then right over there at the top of those mountains see what's on the other side and then come right back down this way unless we can find a way over the mountains we'll come down this way through the joe may guzzler area back to the truck and uh Two and a half miles, it'd be a good five mile day. So not a major one, but um, that's what I have planned. So we'll see if we actually do it. So um, I need to safely get down here. You saw what it took to climb up this, this beast. So let me look around here and find a safe way to get down. I'm not going to do a live stream up here. I don't think the signal is strong enough. <sighs> Crap, we're going to go the same way we came, more or less. I think. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it. All right, we were just up there. Some of you may be asking why we don't come down in one of these side canyons and explore a little more in these mountains. That's because some of these side canyons have steep drop-offs that we would not be able to make it past. Uh, here looks a little bit rugged around this side, so I'm gonna try to go around this side and find an easier path. But, um, you know, like I said, I can, I can come down here to that flat point out there. I'd like to see what's out there, but I'm gonna climb back this way. Um, just trying to think if I want to do that anyway and kind of the thing is I don't want to really overexert ourselves out here because we still have to make it back and I just uh, I don't know what kind of stuff we may have to get through to get back so you don't want to burn up all your energy in one spot or get yourself into a spot where you can't get out of either way I think getting back to the point we were at is going to require a dangerous climb just like the dangerous climb that we took getting in here I do want to get down there and see from that vantage point down there. Oh, shoot, you know what? I think it's doable too. Let's do it. Let's go check that out down there. It's going to require a climb getting it back. But this is the climb. Especially if we have lunch, I think it's doable. Yeah, let's go.
And if I find an easier way uh, this way, then who knows, maybe we'll keep going. I don't know, this whole, this hike today is a crap shoot. You never know what's gonna happen. I mean, most of our hikes are like that. They're unplanned, unscripted, so you just never know what's gonna happen. Getting hungry, I'm gonna have to stop for lunch soon. Just looking to see if I want to make this climb. It's going down to anything is easy, but I want to see if I want to make this climb again. I don't think it's gonna be that big a deal. Winds are picking up up here getting chilly. Almost lost my balance there. Okay. Well, too late to turn back down. We're going. And it's windy. We're on the flat part, more or less. In a worst case scenario, we gotta, we gotta make it up that again. Not extreme, it's just kind of a strenuous climb. Unless I could skirt over here and make it that way, over this hill, or even down here and climb up this hill and make it over there, which I think we can do. It's kind of a cool plateau straight over there. Uh, right about there, I guess. Probably make a good view there, but it's a really steep cliff. We're gonna come over here straight and see what's this way. And, uh, We'll be overlooking the other side of this mountain range. To my knowledge, there's only two people have done the complete hike around the mountain range, Kenny Beach and Jay Chuck. Jay Chuck's kind of a beast. He can, he can do this stuff. I can do it too, but uh, that was actually my plan today, but I just decided that coming into some unfamiliar territory would be more exciting than covering mostly ground that we've covered already. All right. Nice kind of flat open area here. Let's see what's out here. Now you saw Las Vegas in the distance. Make no mistake, this is remote and difficult to get to, so I wouldn't expect there to be a lot of uh, a lot of human activity out here. You may remember when we did Junebug Mine, um, we did find some campsites and a, a cache of food and supplies. But that was, there was a road leading out there at one point in time. So somebody may have driven to the base of the hill and then hiked up to it. This one you can't really drive any further than where we went to, the end of Joe May Road. Most of it's a hike and you could see we just passed the three mile mark and there was nothing easy about that hike we just did. So let's come over here and just take a look around these canyons and uh, see what's over here. And we got a cliff. Don't want to fall off this, otherwise it's, oh, it's all over. GoPro is tethered, I am not. Look at that view, beautiful. All right, we could probably make it down to that um, valley down there, but that valley is not the uh, the actual desert floor. There, it's possible we can make it to the valley, and from there, there's like a waterfall or a cliff or a drop off or something we can't get past, which means we gotta hike all the way back up here, over there, and that's what we gotta do anyway. So I'm gonna try not to go down any further than I have to, because that would mean backtracking. I'm gonna be backtracking anyway. The truck is behind us. But I do want to walk around up here a little bit and uh, see what there is and maybe find a lunch spot. It's noon, it's lunchtime. All right. More cliffs, steep cliffs.
these boots are excellent for walking on this stuff they fit really well and uh, I like them a lot but they're they're winter boots you know we're here let's try to make it to that point out there where that uh, that bush is look at these cliffs Why well, you gotta watch for your step? A fallout here would not be good. A satellite communicator that I have is not gonna do any good if you're not conscious. Okay. <clears throat> Jumping rock to rock. Oh wow, okay. Jeez, look at that, it's a long ways down. Several hundred feet down. Yeah, that is, uh, that is not a survivable fall. I think this might be a good lunch point, what do you think? All right, let me sit and take a break. And then from here, once we had some food, you know we need to go. All right, I just finished the live stream. Uh, we're still up here on top of these mountains uh, that you saw in the live stream and everything. Um, hopefully you were able to catch that. Uh, when I last time I checked the garment was 48 and it's blowing wind, so probably 38. It's cold up here and I'm freezing. I've got a base layer on, but I'm still freezing. I need to get moving. I need to keep moving. I need to continue moving all the way back to the truck. So I'm going to head straight over this way the best I can and try to get back into Joe May Canyon. And um, hopefully moving will get us warmed up and we'll get over these rocks without getting hurt. Uh, shoot, I'm about to do some jumping here. I'll make sure that's not going to move. Oh shit, it did move. Okay. That's why you got to be careful. I'm telling you this is dangerous stuff. All right. Oh, it's cold. I need to go home and take a hot shower, have some soup or something, and relax. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's keep moving. Believe it or not, these Matterhorn boots are among some of the most durable ones that I have ever had. They may not be the lightest, and they may not be the best for summer, but I'm just zipping over these rocks like there's no tomorrow. <sighs> okay, okay, good. Let's keep going. Where we came from is up there. Where we gotta go is over there. Let's find an easy way to get over there. Maybe easier said than done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. Then the easy thing to do might be to go like a mountain goat straight. It's really kind of hard to tell to judge how steep something is. I've got to get to that saddle up there. There's just no freaking easy way around it. We got to go straight. I hear some squawking. There's got to be some sort of a bird making that noise. I don't think it's the winged demon that uh, the J Chuck keeps looking for. The winged demon, which somebody, a hiker, or somebody said they saw a winged bird or demon in Picture Canyon, a Batman, which are in all likelihood it was probably just a large bird. Yeah, I think we can go straight. It's going to be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I don't wear knee pads out here. Uh, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It is easy to bump your knees up here, but uh, the pants I wear, these 5'11 tactical pants, they're lightweight. They allow for fantastic ease of movement. And I have worn knee pads before, and they can restrict your movement somewhat. All right, we may have a challenge up here. Oh, shit. Do I go down and over? No, I think I'm going to go up. I think up might be the best bet. I heard something jingling and it didn't sound like it was me. Okay. I just had lunch. I feel great. We had a rest, so my legs aren't jelly anymore. And uh, 
I've got enough energy to keep going. Okay. Okay. Let's come down here and see. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a little challenging. I think we could do it. Oh. All right. Look at that, nothing but climbing, nothing but rock climbing. I'm gonna try to go straight that way and hopefully on the other side of this ridge right here, um, we can make it over. Like I said before, some of this stuff you really can't judge how steep it is till you're right on top of it. And then you gotta find a way to safely get past some of this stuff because you misjudge something, you're gonna fall. Okay. You gotta stop every now and look up, look around, and uh, just kinda watch where the best path is, best course of action. And I know I'm taking this kinda fast, but sometimes, if you can get a sure footing, that's what you want to do. Just get over it quickly. If you take your time, you might fall. Okay. Man, what was in that beef stew? I got energy now. Okay. Oh my gosh, what's this? Holy cow, bones. Holy cow, bighorn sheep. Ugh. It almost looks like somebody buried it here. There's a skull. Look at this. Let me move some of these rocks. Holy cow. Did it fall? Is that what happened? Hold on, let's put this GoPro over here and see if I can film it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It was under these rocks. Maybe he was up there and fell and uh, perished here under these rocks. And what a find. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I had staged the bones right there for a better photo. But um, I put him back here, right where I found him. Um, hopefully this big fella, whatever whatever took him down, I don't know. But hopefully moving these rocks aside, his soul can uh, can go to heaven now maybe. Who knows? At any rate, that's it. Bighorn um, remains. Clearly been out here for a very long time. Um, any of you uh, biologists or animal experts can, can guess how long it's been out here. Comment down below. But at any rate, that's it for this uh for this section here, you never know what you're gonna find in these hills. Let's keep on going, we gotta go that way. So far, I'm not seeing anything we can't get over or shouldn't get over because it's too dangerous. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's challenging, it's tough, but uh, nothing that I, that I can't handle so far. I gotta get to that ridge line over there and I still don't know what's between that and us. Now, if we can get down there, we'll make it no problem. Let's see what's on the other side of this, this hill right here. Maybe some other rocks we can make it down. We're climbing just like that bighorn did, but I don't want to end up like he did. He may have fallen off of this. Hard to say. Just looking up there for caves or anything. Hard to tell if it's one up there. I don't want to climb all the way up there and uh, looking for a cave and turns out there's nothing. I have to climb all the way back. So from right here, we can easily make it to that ridge line, no problem. Well, I don't want to say easily. It's gonna take a climb. And indeed, that's what we're doing. It's kind of straddling this, coming down. As long as these rocks don't move, I'm getting some great traction today with, from these Matterhorn boots. The soles are just, are really great. All right, we've gotta get down here. And I think there's going to be a jump involved. If we can get uh, lifting ourselves up, 
over here. Maybe we can just lift ourselves down. I think so. Yeah, okay. No problem. No problem. Just carefully. One, two, three, do it. Okay. 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 Okay, we are hopping over these rocks like nothing. Keep going. Straight over that way. Piece of cake. I do try to get different camera angles once in a while, but for the most part, you guys want to see hikes, and that's what we're doing. And there we go. Joe May Guzzerum, folks, right down there. Oh, okay. What I wanted to do is get on top of the mountain just past Joe May and find an easy way to do it. I don't think I can do it over here. Well, maybe. Maybe. Let's take a look. Okay. Hopefully it's not too windy for you. It's GoPro medium mod it's supposed to filter out a lot of that wind. I don't have a remote mic just yet. It's on my it's on my shopping list one of these days. For now I just use the GoPro medium mod to record sound. I gotta be careful in this snow, I don't want to slip. Okay. Yeah, I think I can get up here. I think I can get up and over. So challenging, but I think we can do it. And you guys like these climbing videos anyway. It's almost kind of addicting, isn't it? As long as you don't slip like that. Okay. Okay. All right. We need to go straight up and over. my balance there pocket caves now I ate lunch I got some decent energy but if I tear over these mountains like a bat out of hell I'm gonna burn up all that energy I don't want to do that because we still got a ways till we get back to the truck okay I'm gonna roll film because what we need to do is get up and over this this mountain here and uh it's possible to make it to a point where it's too steep to make it. I think we can do it, but it's straight up rock climbing. Okay. Okay. Of course, the sun's in my eyes, so it's tough seeing. I think I can go straight this way. There are loose rocks here. You gotta be careful because I'm telling you folks, one wrong step and it's all over. I think we go either way, but this might be best over here. Okay. Maybe not. Or maybe. Well, shoot. Okay. Let me change hands to the GoPro. So, uh, I can, uh, Get a better grip over here as we lower ourselves down. All right. Oh. Okay. Over here. I think I 
can put my foot here, hold here, put my foot right there, carefully lift myself up. Okay, all right. I know you can't see, but don't worry, I can. I'm just looking for a way to securely lift myself up. This is rock climbing. Okay. All right. That's where we just lift ourselves up, in case you're wondering. Okay. All right. Now, what you need to do is come down here somehow and skirt this whole side of the mountain all the way over there to the top of the hill down the hill and start making our way back. It's gonna be tough, but I think we could do it. All right, you can see Joe May Guzzler down there. Uh, once we get down, it shouldn't be too difficult just skirting the side of this mountain. Let's run into any obstacles. The weird thing is, is see it looks straight and clear over there? You never know what you're gonna run into. Just like that bighorn sheep skeleton. Uh, that poor fellow must have fallen off a mountain, it looks like. Um, but anyway, I thought it'd be smooth from here on out. What we've got to do is come down here, over there, and run that way. I think we could do it, as long as these rocks are secure. But it's going to be dangerous, and it's going to be a challenge. So I'm going to switch hand to GoPro. I'm going to roll film, and I'm going to try to carefully do this without getting myself in a position that I can't get out of. Okay. I'm going to come down here. Ugh. Okay, that is too far to jump. And I don't see a secure footing over here that I can easily get to. Well, maybe. I'm just trying to think if I want to make that risk. That's about, from here to there is about six feet. To my feet don't spread six feet apart. Well, I mean, maybe, yes, but it's going to be real dangerous. I think I can do it. But I'm not sure if I can get to there, then I come to this rocks and down there and uh, over there easily. I just got to get my foot right there. I'm not going to roll film for this. It's just too dangerous. I know I said I'm not going to roll film. It's too dangerous, but I did make it somehow. And I'm over here in this little plateau. And you can see how twisted my feet are. Oh, shit. That one right there was our big stretch. All right, and I need to come down straight down that way. Might as well roll film on it and so you can see. Okay. This looks stable here, so this is gonna be my main handhold. And I'm gonna try to move my legs around this way, put them over here. And if I can do that, I might be okay. When you do something like this, you don't care about tearing your pants or anything. You just care about not falling. Whatever else happens is fine. You may even have to take a bump or a scrape or something. As long as you don't fall and break something. Okay. This is tough. I'm just looking for secure footing. See what we just climbed over? Okay, and we got to get down here, which as long as these rocks don't give way, Okay, something to put my hand on. I'm real iffy about this rock here, but I'm gonna have to step on it. Just looking for a handhold. Okay, it looks like it'll hold. Please hold. Seems to hold. I've got a handhold up here, but once I get down here, I'm gonna have to let it go. Find another handhold. Oh, sorry about the camera angle, folks. I'm just gonna move my hand down here. Grab over here. And I know you're just seeing rocks, but there. There's the handhold. If you're on the edge of your seat, trust me, you should be. This is some dangerous stuff. And I'm slowly making it. I think I can put my foot right here and slowly 
maneuver one step at a time and let myself down. Okay, that's what we just did. That, folks, one of the toughest climbs I've done. Tricky and dangerous, but we did it. Remember I was cold up there in the wind? I'm no longer cold, I'm almost sweating. All right, onward. I keep thinking I'm hearing something. Earlier I thought I heard two voices over there and I thought I heard something sound like a bird squawking over there, it might be. I tell you, Joe May Canyon, you hear some weird things here, weird things happen. Bend of footsteps, weird noises, strange smells. Is your imagination playing tricks on you or is it something else? I don't know. All right, from this point, if I can't make it straight over there to skirt the top of that mountain, I can at least make it straight down to the Guzzler. So I think we're okay. All right. Back up to another little kind of plateau here where we had lunches out that way. Let's keep on going. I don't think I'm gonna go up that way around that peak. Where we need to go is this way around the Jome Guzzler. And for those of you who by the now don't know what the Jome Guzzler is, it's a water point for animals. Put out here by the state of Nevada. Yeah, I think it's, this area is too rugged on the other side of this, this hill. So we're gonna have to come down a little bit and, and just kind of skirt around, around that way. All right. All right. I don't like about this kind of uh, train is it's a lot of loose rock and you can't get a good grip like we did back on the side of that hill over there. Yeah. Okay. But we said things, uh, things don't look as rugged from the air or from a distance. And, uh, Going straight this way is, is a little more rugged than I thought it would be. I mean, we could do it, but it's just a little more challenging and a lot longer than I thought. Looking over here, it almost looks like a dig, like there's a mine or something, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna go all the way over there to check that out and then go down here and have to climb back up if we're gonna, if we're gonna try to skirt up here and go to the top of that mountain. So I'll check Google Earth later to see if there is a dig up here past Joe May Canyon. But uh, it's really hard to say. It looks like there could be something there, but I'm not sure. Just past the guzzler, I don't know. Really hard to say. I could, I could hike all the way down there and find out there's nothing. I think what I'm gonna do is come down to this plateau and just get a better view for right now. Okay, you ready? Race you down. Oh, how's that? Nothing but a thing, right? Let's keep going. Oh, man. Man, if only the whole hike was like this. Look, nice and smooth and an untied shoe. We'll be back. Ah, the guzzler should be just right up here. There's the mountains we hiked over. All up, up over there. And looking up there, it's like, that was, that was a big hike. I could see what looks like a cave up there, but uh, as you saw when we hiked up to Joe May Peak, there was what we thought was a cave and turned out it's actually not. And here we are, we walked right by it and would have missed it. If it was a snake, it would have bit us. I know you don't want to walk all the hike all the way to Joe May Peak, seeing the guzzler off in a distance and not actually see the guzzler itself. So let's come up here and check out the Joe May guzzler. All right, here's the flat area that, uh, that you saw back there. And it rains really infrequently out here, but I'm guessing 
this is to catch rainwater when it does rain. But since it rains so infrequently, why would you build this to catch rainwater? And uh, you may go hundreds of days without rain. But when it does rain and it catches rainwater, oh, I see what ha we'll see how it works. Rainwater comes down here to this trough, and there's uh, some rocks keeping the screen that prevents debris from getting in. But basically, this uh, the water comes through this trough to these lines and uh, down the lines, and uh, it feeds those tanks over there, and that's what uh, that's what the animals drink. So yeah, this is to collect rainwater, and this and this uh, this piping here, rainwater flows here, gravity fed down to these tanks. Which, uh, I don't know, I'd imagine they'd freeze unless they have some sort of heating mechanism. Because it can get cold out here. Now they do have people from Stand Up Out of the Chickies every now and then. In fact, uh, what video was it? Search for the other mine. That's live on the site right now. In that video, when I was searching for that other prospect pit out there, that other mine, we saw a red helicopter flying over here really, really low. And I thought he saw me and flew the other direction. But what that was, was uh, officials from the state of Nevada, Department of Wildlife, checking the guzzlers, making sure there's no damage or anything. Um, here's some of the water, it looks like it's frozen. Um, yep. It's frozen and uh, there's some ice right there in the middle, but for the most part, this water is good to go. It's good for the animals to drink. And these tanks, um, these tanks keep it full. And I'm just here to show you guys this area. And that's it. That is the Joe May Guzzler. All right. Here is another probably water collection area. I'm guessing uh, when it rains, water goes in this trough into this tank down here. Last time I was here, this tank was open and you could see in it, but they've since constructed this trough. I believe catches water to feed the tank. And uh, again, I'm pretty sure I know who's responsible for that. So that's a good thing. They're, they're just putting these together to make sure the animals get, uh, get water, which is a good thing. It is a wildlife refuge and uh, having a source of water is important. All right. I got 2 p.m. And uh, I kind of want to see what's on top of this mountain, but it's gonna require a pretty hefty hike. I have enough energy and time to make the effort to climb this hill. And I could probably go up and over and bypass Jome Canyon. We don't need to go straight ahead. I think we can do that. Looks like some caves up there too, but as always, they look like a cave, but they're not usually. Uh, it's Jome Guzzler down there. And uh, we didn't make it to the top. It's steep getting down, we could do it. But what I'd like to do is go over that saddle over there and see what's over there. So I think we could skirt the side of the hill and make it to it. Um, strange things experienced on this trip. Um, I thought I heard voices, children or people laughing or something like you'd hear at a playground off in the distance. Could have been birds. Um, what else? Uh, battery, uh, device battery dying. My device battery was about 20% and, uh, the GoPro just would not power back on. So I just put a fresh battery in there. It's showing, uh, showing full 97% right now because I just put a fresh battery in. So... These weird paranormal activities of Joe May Canyon may be imagination. There could be a logical explanation for it, or it could be something else. Like I said, strange voices, uh, possible strange smells, maybe it was my imagination, battery dying, who knows. Um, but for what it's worth, that's the strange things I've experienced so far here near the Joe May Guzzler. Um, we're going to go that way to the saddle, check it out. If we can get over uh, as a shortcut, we will. Otherwise, we're going to have to double back. You see caves off the distance on top of these hills. There's one of them. Looks like a pretty promising cave from down below, but um, it's not. It's just a little pocket cave, a cavity, nothing more. 
and that's the vast majority of the caves out here. So for Kenny Veach to say that he stared into a cave that was deep and dark, I just, I haven't seen anything like that out here. You know, and people just, uh, they believe what they want to believe. You know, say, oh, Kenny Veach said there's a deep, dark cave out here. Well, it depends on your interpretation of deep and dark. How close did he get to it? Did he see inside it? Did he see how far in it went? He just said it's deep and dark. So he didn't really give a lot of details on the M cave. And a lot of people from the internet just assume on what he was talking about when the reality is he may have made the whole thing up. You never know. I just, I personally haven't seen a deep dark cave like he described out here. I take that back. There are, there are some caves that are deep and dark. There's mine shafts that are deep and dark, but nothing really like it goes in more than 30 feet, unless it's a mine. All right, I gotta get right up there to that saddle and see if I can go over it and get towards the truck that way, or if I need to double back. If I need to double back, it's all downhill, just uneven terrain is all. But uh, I've only got 4.71 miles on the clock, so it's not that big of a hike, not by our standards. I came out ready for a 10 miler mentally at least. Looking back over the Joe May Guzzler and those mountains I was just hiking in, I honestly can't believe that I hiked from there all the way up in those mountains and then back down and then come over here to where I am right now. That's a long, that's a long way. That's a long strenuous way on foot. It really is. Oh, we're almost here. Let's keep on going. I'll just roll film. Do you guys see the uh, what's on the other side here? And see if we can keep going or if we've got to turn back. I like to keep going and blaze new trails, but uh, we may have to turn back, so we'll see. Almost there. All right. A little saddle up here. We're pretty close to uh to uh, Jay Silverheel's Martian Rock. Probably over there somewhere, I'm guessing. And I do want to go over there and see what's on that saddle over there. I just want to see if, if we got to turn back or we can get down here. I think we can get down here. Probably. Yeah. I can't tell, but unless there's a, a cliff or something, I think we can get down there. But I'm gonna go to that saddle over there and might even be able to get go over one more hill here and get down over there. If not, we've got a long walk back. You ever notice how you usually find interesting things in places we never intended to go in the first place? So you never know what we'll find out here. Just get on top of this saddle over here, see what's on the other side. All right, we're coming to a flat point over here. This is about the area where Silver Heels' Martian rock was. Now, only he knows what it looks like. I don't think he has a picture of it. But it's, uh, it's a flat plateau here. And uh, nice flat area. There's a bird flying over a crow or something. There's your wing, your wing demon, Jay Chuck. It's a crow, a big old black crow. Could that be the wing demon that somebody saw and from a distance thinking that was a, a person flying or something? Your eyes play tricks on you out here. Well, he just landed on that rock up there. Is that the Batman that people have reported seeing out here? Could be it. I don't know. What do you think, Jade Chuck? Is that it? 
All right, well, it's relatively flat area over here, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit and see what's out here. I don't know if this is the marsh rock area, but I'm pretty sure um, this 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 is the Martian rock area. Yeah, this is this has got to be the Martian rock area because it does almost look Martian, like it's on Mars or something. Now, if this is where I think it is, down this valley a little bit, off to the right, up on a hill, is what I thought was the M cave. Um, it's a cave. It is in the shape of a perfect letter M. It goes in about 12 feet deep and dark, like Kenny said. Uh, it's not really ground level, but it is on the side of a mountain. And um, it's the closest thing to an M cave I found that's in the perfect shape of an M and deep and dark. Uh, that's in my M cave found video. And it is, I believe, this, this valley that I hiked in. So yeah, I probably could go down this way. If I remember correctly, it's super steep, so I'm not going to. But I have to go all the way around. So I'm gonna go over here and see if there's anything interesting over there. And then I'm going to probably I have to go back and backtrack a little bit. It does almost feel like you're on another planet out here. The cool thing is, is out here. And I really and I really miss this. There's no people, no cars, no traffic. I mean, yeah, that's the highway out there, but you can't see or hear people or cars or traffic. You are completely alone cut off from all civilization nothing is out here just you and nature and it's peaceful and majestic and it really helps clear your head and the views are amazing aren't they i'm almost tempted to stay out here till sunset because i'm sure there would be some pretty epic sunsets out here but if I'm not back in the truck by the time sun goes down, it's gonna get damn cold out here. Uh, I kinda wanna keep going and see what's over there. That's the thing that about hiking it's so addicting is you just, you always wanna see what's right around the next corner. Look at the valley down there. I'm pretty sure I've hiked through that and that's where that uh, MK found video was filmed. And if that's the case, I've never seen over this over this area here so i do want to just kind of come up at the top and just take a peek and see what's over there see if there's any compelling reason to do another hike out here all right look at the views out here huh Absolutely amazing views. Okay. Okay. Again, Coal Creek out there, Indian Springs out there, that uh, kind of dry lake out there that leads up to Dog Bone Lake, that's Millet. Anything past this, okay, if you see this open desert here, outside of the open desert is like a mountain range and then there's that dry lake bed. That dry lake bit is all off limits to civilian military only. So basically on the other side of those mountains, there's no man's land. Alamo Road comes this way, and I believe it comes up this way. Uh, so yeah, the other side of those mountains, that's no man's land. Um, I'd love to get on top of that peak out there. That's the highest point out here. And it would be tough if, to climb it, but uh, I might be able to get close depending if I was to go out there, see, 2.30, eh, real iffy if I get back after dark. That I think is a good summertime hike. I'd love to get up there and see what's over there though. Only thing is you could spend days hiking out here and not only not see Kenny Beach, but not see everything. That, uh, that um, bighorn carcass we came across earlier, bone, skeleton, with just sheer luck. So, yeah, this is it. I'm 99% sure this is Martian Rock. Um, again, Silver Hills, if you're watching, comment below, is this Martian Rock? I think it is. I don't see a big M or anything. But this has got to be Martian Rock. And uh, I think what we'll do now is 
come over here, head over there, and try to make it down this way. Because if we can't get down this way, we've got to come all the way down, all the way over and all the way around, which is a long ways. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Martian Rock. All right, so I'm on the hill overlooking Joe May Gussler. And uh, I mentioned earlier in the video about strange things happening out here. GoPro battery dying, strange noises. My phone battery is at 5%, and I did not bring the spare battery for the iPhone because I did not plan on a massive hike. And the battery's usually been lasting. Um, maybe the live stream killed it, I don't know. But at any rate, it's it's a 5%, so we're... My phone is pretty much done, so I'm gonna head back towards the truck at this time. Um, I do have the Garmin uh, 400i satellite communicator battery on this. I believe it's fine. Check real quick here. Um, yeah, battery's going down, but it's it's good to go. 5,900 5, feet, you can see. Temperature 56, and um, at any rate, I've got the Garmin for communication, and uh, Woodchuck, as always, is monitoring me to send him a quick message to let him know that uh, my phone battery is just about dead, so I'll have to use the Garmin if needed. This, I'm guessing, like I said, is uh, Martian rock. Strange markings on this rock here. And uh, at this time, I'm going to hightail it back to the truck. I can't even put a pin on it because I don't want to pull up my phone. I just put it in airplane mode uh, and burn the battery out, the last little bit of battery it has. But I think I know where this is, and uh, I'll just find it on Google Earth and um, look at this valley and confirm that this is marsh rock. But at any rate, let's hightail it out of here. The only unknown is when we get over this hill and uh, going downhill, there, I want to make sure there's no steep drop off so we can't make it down because we have to climb back up, go all the way around. I've already eaten my lunch. I got one cliff bar and that's about it. So, if we don't stop dilly-dallying out here, this could turn into a survival situation. Which is why I'm hightailing it out of here. Sun's going down, 2.30 p.m. And, uh, that's it. 2.30 p.m. It seemed like I was standing over there longer. But I wasn't. Almost like there's missing time, but there's not. Okay. I don't think. That's weird. Possible missing time, but no, I could have sworn. You know, I can't be certain. That's weird. I can't tell if there's missing time or not. At any rate, let's keep going. Apple Watch is running, trucking along. So if there is missing time and I was somehow teleported somewhere else, the Apple Watch will hopefully track me. Maybe. Let's keep going. I've been in this situation before. I'm not here, but other places. We've got to get down there. If there's a steep drop off and I cannot make it down, which is very possible, I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up, come down and go all the way around. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope I can somehow climb down here, back into Joe May Canyon, and get back to the vehicle. I still can't tell, it's real iffy if we could find a way down or not. These are some steep, sharp rocks. I'm gonna keep going. Like I said, it's very possible we gotta climb back up and it's gonna suck if we have to. That's just a lot of extra hiking that we didn't have to do. But it's Vegas, we're taking a gamble on a possible shortcut. Maybe this way and then down there. Like I said, uh, take a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. There's some somewhat fresh poop, rabbit or bighorn sheep, I'm guessing. Not 100% sure. Just those little pellets, those little things anyway. Trying to make our way down these rocks, watching cactuses and stuff. More cactus at the lower elevations. This is uh, this is turning out to be a tougher hike than I expected. 
And these shoes, the soles on these shoes are handling these rocks fantastic. Oh man, it's real iffy. It's real iffy. But I think we can do it. It's steep, it's rocky, but I think we can do it. Whew. I was trying to find the easiest, most efficient way down with the lowest risk of losing our balance. Oh, shoot, that rock's moving. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Almost slipped. It is, uh, it's challenging. Shoot. Okay. Sometimes you gotta sidestep a little bit. Man, it's real steep going down, but I think I could probably make it. Going back up would be a nightmare. It would take most of our energy and strength to do so. So I have got to find a way down, and I'm 90% sure that I can. Now climbing up this, uh, forget it. It's real steep, but going down, where gravity is helping you, yeah. But gravity is also your enemy, so you gotta be careful and watch where you step. Yeah, maybe over here might be easier. I was gonna go over there, but over here looks like I might be able to make it. Some of these hills are so steep, I heard squawking, it's gotta be that pesky crow. Some of these hills are so steep that uh, there's no way you can make it down. Hear him squawking. He doesn't like me out here, this is his territory. Sorry, Mr. Crow, I'll be out here as soon as I can. Damn near a straight shot. Well, not straight, but I think if we go down there, we can do it. I can't believe my phone battery is at five percent. I uh, after the live stream, it showed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it showed, but it wasn't. It wasn't on yellow or anything. That's for sure. See him up there. He's watching us from behind that rock. There he goes. Is he warning us of something? Is he just telling us to get out of here? Or do you want to know if we have food? Oh man. It's like climbing down a volcano or something. This really is a one step at a time thing. Very slow going. I mean, we're making it, but it's just slow going. Every step we take is one step closer to the bottom. zigzagging our way down.
I think if we can make it to that point and then kind of zag down. I'm almost kind of starting to get hungry again. All right, we used to keep from up there. Pocket cave right there. Pocket cave right there. I'd love to go check them out, but chances are they don't go in. And I'm not gonna exert my energy climbing up to them just to find out. We made it at one point, I said we wanted to go to. Now we just need to zigzag our way down to the canyon floor. We shouldn't be too much trouble. We made it this far. And I think the steepest, most dangerous part is behind us, I think. Yeah, if we can get down to the uh, valley floor down there, we're, we're set. It's just, uh, it's all downhill from there, back to the truck, I believe. Earlier in the, uh, in the hike, we were coming up here, and it was all kind of an uphill incline. And I was getting tired, my legs felt like jelly. Right now, my legs feel much stronger than they did before, believe it or not. Not tired, but stronger. So as far as my legs go, they're perfectly fine. Plenty of energy left. In fact, I have enough energy left to get through this. It's uh, the clock 5.27 miles, and it's a hard 5.27 miles. Almost 2,000 foot elevation gain, four hours, 30 minutes. It's not that big of a deal, so maybe I wasn't as out of shape as I thought I was. But we still did need to get back in the swing of things, and this is a great way to start the year. Okay. All right. A couple of cactuses down there. Or not cactuses, but um, yucca trees, Joshua trees, whatever you want to call them. But keep in mind, even though it doesn't look super steep here, you step on one rock that's loose and lose your balance, you could twist an ankle or bust a leg, so you gotta be really careful. Or heck, you even lose your balance and fall into one of these bad boys, and I can assure you, these hurt, they're uh, out. They're very hard, like a knife, and they would hurt a lot. I mean, you fall into that, you're gonna get stabbed, that's for sure. All right. We're gonna keep going. Almost there, look at that. Not that bad. Okay, almost the bottom. Almost the bottom here. Ugh. Wouldn't that be something if I tripped and fell and hit my head in a rock, feet from the bottom. It's usually how things work. All right, that was a steep climb. Man, what a monster hike today, wasn't it? All right, on the clock, 2.56, almost 3 p.m., 538.38 miles, 1911 feet elevation gain, heart rate 120 feet, bleh. you can read it, I'm not gonna read it out to you. Four and a half hours hike. All we need to do now, go a mile or so that way, we're back at the truck. Almost back to the truck, should be able to hopefully see it just around this bend. Um, if not already, but hopefully we should be pretty close. I think it's on that ridge line up there somewhere. Um, long hike so far, six miles, 1900 foot elevation gain, four hours, 47 minutes. So, you know, it's not a massive hike, but boy, we did some climbing in this one, didn't we? I was really worried because looking at that upper ridge line for the truck and I couldn't see it. That uh, gee, did it get stolen or towed? I started to get really nervous, but I could see it's on a lower ridge line out there. So it's still there. The truck itself is still there. Um, half a mile, three quarters of a mile, maybe even a mile, but it's there. All right, around the clock, 6.46 miles, 1970 foot elevation gain, um, four hours, 55 minutes, almost five hours. It will be five hours. That's the truck up there above that hill, that ridge you could see. We made it. It was a tough hike. Did some serious climbing. We took some risks. Um, saw Joe May Guzzler up close. Didn't see any evidence of, uh, of Kenny Beach, but we saw 
the bones, the skeleton of a bighorn sheep that apparently had fallen off a mountain, which is kind of strange. But uh, we climbed a few mountains ourselves, and uh, that's about it. This year, I've got quite a few bit more hikes planned, and I won't even rule out another hike out here in Joe May Canyon. Sheep Range Mountains where Kenny Veach disappeared 10 years ago are mysterious. A lot of strange things happen out here. This hike, we experienced strange battery drain on the phone. Uh, it went from like, I don't know, halfway to almost 5%. GoPro shut off, had to change batteries on that. I um, heard what I thought were voices, kids laughing or something. Uh, might have been in my imagination, but it's, it's a strange place out here. Supernatural occurrences out here could be chalked up your imagination, or there could be something more to it. I don't know. You come out here enough, who knows what can happen. But for this time, that's it for today. I hope you like what you see. If you do, please subscribe and hit the like button. That really helps increase the popularity of the video so more people can enjoy them. Liking is very important and subscribing as well. More subscriptions um, shows the channel's, get, you know, show interest in the channel. More likely I'm going to be making more videos. So keep subscribing, keep liking, stick around. Plenty more of these hikes coming up. The truck is up here above this hill. And until the next time, my friends, see you in the next adventure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when I post a new one. All of my videos are unscripted as they happen. I can't promise they'll be exciting, but I can promise they'll be 100% real. My name is Steve from Las Vegas and these are my adventures.